Hi, in this course I teach the basic graph theory and in today's lecture we will discuss about subgraphs. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Now we will firstly know what is the definition of subgraph. So if G be a graph, then another graph say H is called a subgraph of G if the vertex set of H is a subset of the vertex set of G and the vertex and the edge set of H is subset of the edge set of G. So we will understand this through examples. So firstly let us consider this graph ok. So on four vertices say. So this graph is we are taking a complete graph say this one ok. So now if we consider this graph we will we'll, uh, see some subgraphs of this graph ok. So this is basically our K4. We have already discussed about the complete graphs uh, on n vertices in the previous lecture if you are if, if you have not seen that one so you may check out that um, so now uh, the subgraphs will be of the form like say on two vertices okay so let us take this to be a b c and d okay so here the vertex set was a b c d so vertex set of k4 was a b c and d okay and here we are taking only a and b so this is say our h1 okay this is our our h1 so the vertex set of h1 r is a and b and the edge set of h1 is we have a b okay so it is that set and we have we can check here that the edge set of k4 was a b a c a d also b c b d and also c d ok so here we had six edges we can check hmm. and here in this uh, h1 we have only one edge say a b hmm. And now we can have another example, another sub, another subgraph, say H2. So we can have there say three vertices A, B, and C, and this one H. Okay. So here we have basically V of H2 is equal to A, B, and C, and here we have E of H2 is equal to only one edge a and a b ok so so we will consider uh, more examples of this uh, this graph k4 now we will consider another graph on four vertices ok so let us take this graph ok so here this is a b c and d so here the it is this graph is say G2 ok so the vertex set is here V of G2 is equal to A, B, C and D and the edge set of G2 is basically A, B ok so this is this edge is there and B, D also B, C is there so B, C and B, D okay and also ac is there so ac so there are total four edges one two three and four so four edges now we will consider the subgraphs of possible subgraphs of this graph okay so there are many possible subgraphs so we will consider a few of them so let us consider firstly h1 okay so a b and this one say okay so here the vertex set of h1 is what a and b so it is a subset of this vertex set of g2 okay and the edge set of h1 is only a singleton set a singleton edge is there only na? so a b and it is a subset of e of g2 so this uh, h1 is a subgraph of G2 ok so now we will consider another uh, subgraph say H2 
to be this one on three vertices now let us take okay so a b and say this one d okay so now we are considering a simple graph again so this one okay so we can see that here v of h2 is equal to a b and d which is subset of v of g2 and also e of h2 is equal to a b and b d two edges are here and it is a subset of e of g2 now we will consider a graph say h3 on the same three vertices h3 on same three vertices a b and d so here the firstly vertex set of uh, this uh, h3 v3 v of vertex set of h3 that is v of h3 is a b d same same uh, as h2 so it is a subset of vertex set of g2 okay so now we are taking edges as this okay so instead of bd we are taking ad so now edge set of h3 is ab and ad okay so now is this a subgraph of this graph g2 so our g2 where this was this graph okay and our h3 is this graph so is h3 a subgraph of g2 it is not because here we have this edge ad okay so here we have this edge ad but here we can see that this a is not adjacent to d okay so this ad edge is not in this uh, graph g2 that is the edge set of g2 does not contain the edge a comma d but here this a, uh, this edge set of h3 contains this edge a comma d so this is not a subset of not a subset of edge set of g2 okay so this is therefore h3 is not a subgraph of g2 okay so we have a counter example that is when a graph when a, um, a graph is not subgraph that example also we have here okay so uh, also we can take another example uh, say h4 to be this graph a b and c d a b and c d with the edges a b c d and a c and b d okay so now we are taking h4 and the vertex set of h4 are a b c d and the edge set of h4 is a b b c not b c b d and uh, d c and c a okay so this one so here also it is also not a subgraph of this g2 because here we have this uh, a c d but here in g2 we we didn't have the a c d okay so this a was not in uh, the a set of g2 but this this a is here in uh, the a set of uh, h4 so it is a set of h4 is not subset of a set of g2 therefore similarly h4 is also not a not a subgraph of of g2 okay so now the idea of subgraph is clear to us so now we'll discuss about induced subgraph okay so firstly we'll see the definition so if g be a graph then a subgraph of g say h h is called induced subgraph if for any two vertex say a comma b of this subgraph h if this h a comma b is in the h set of g then it will be in the h set of h what does it mean so we'll uh, see through examples so firstly let us take a, a, a graph say g on three vertices okay so this is on three vertices 
a b and c so we are taking a very simple example okay so uh, and we are taking a subgraph of this graph g as this a and b okay so it says that whenever any two vertex a and b are in this a set okay are in are in this vertex set of uh, h that is whenever these two vertex are in this subgraph then this h if this h a comma b is in this graph g then it will be in this graph h that is since this a and b these two vertices are in this graph h and we can see that this h a comma b it is in this graph g so it will be a induced graph if and only if this h is in h also okay so if we we take this is say h1 so we are taking another subgraph say h2 to be this graph okay so here are two vertices here we had that z of h1 was a and b and e of h1 was this h ab okay and here we have that v of h2 is same a comma b but e of h2 is empty because there is no h so it is not a um, induced subgraph why because here this a and b vertices a and b belongs to the vertex set of h2 and a b this h is in the a set of g okay it is in the a set of g but this a comma b h this is not in the h set of h2 so this a, these two vertices were in h2 and this h was in the original graph g but this h is not in h2 so it will not be it is not in h2 so it will not be a induced subgraph okay though, so though this h2 is a subgraph of g but this h2 is not induced subgraph so this h2 is a subgraph of g but h2 is not induced subgraph not induced subgraph okay so now we take another example say h3 to be this this one okay so b c and we have this h so what we have taken now let us take this h3 to be this graph that is b and c so the vertex set of h3 is basically b and c okay so and this h set of h3 is this singleton h b c okay so is this a induced subgraph not at all because it is not a subgraph it actually because this b c h we can check here that this bc h is not in this graph g so this h is not in this graph g so it is not a subgraph so this h3 is not even a subgraph of g okay so now we'll check another example say h4 to be a graph on three vertices a b and c okay so let us take this one so is this a induced subgraph is this a induced subgraph no because here this h a comma b we can check that here the vertex set of vertex set of h4 was a b c so we have that this a and b belongs to the vertex set of h4 and we can see that ab this h belongs to the h set of g okay because we had that this h a ab this h was originally in g but this ab h is not in h4 so it is not induced subgraph so again it is h4 is in is a subgraph subgraph but not induced subgraph now let us take another example 
a graph G on four vertices we are taking okay so now we are taking a graph a b c d this one on four vertices and here we have this edge also so this graph we will check that some some subgraph uh, which we will check that whether this graph subgraph is induced or not okay so for our first example is say h1 as this one so we are taking a b and this c sorry okay so this one so we have to write down firstly what is vertex set of g vertex set of g was originally a b c d and edge set of g was a b b c c d and then b c already we have taken so b d also a d also a c okay so a b b c c d and also we have a d and b d and a c so there are six edges total now we are taking h1 to be this uh, subgraph and here we have that the vertex set of h1 is basically a b and c a b and c and the edge set of h1 is basically a b edge and also b c edge and also c a edge okay so we can check whether this is induced or not so for any two vertex say let us take first a and b so for a b we can see that this a b edge is here and this a b edge is here also for b c also this edge is here and this edge is here okay so and also for a c we can see that this edge is here so this edge is uh, in h1 also so this is this h1 is induced okay so this is a indu this was a induced subgraph now we will take another example so let us take this one h2 to be a b d this this graph okay so we are uh, taking this subgraph okay so we can see that here this a b so here for uh, firstly we have that d of h2 is equal to a b and d and e of h2 is equal to a b and a d so firstly a b is two what a b are two vertices in h2 and we can check that a b edge is here so a b edge is here also and also b d so b d for the vertices b and d we can check that b d edge is not here and b and b d edge is not here so if it was here then it it would not be a subgraph firstly but it is not here so now let us check a d so for a d this edge is here and this edge is here also so it is also a induced subgraph so h2 is induced also now we will check another subgraph say h3 uh, with b and d so what will be the induced uh, induced subgraph with this b and d vertices let us check here this b and d edge is not here so uh, h3 will be a subgraph if and only if this b and d are not adjacent in h4 also so this this is the graph subgraph and this is a induced subgraph okay so uh, now we we can check an, uh, more examples on this topic uh, and we can check uh, in we can take any sub any um, subgraph firstly we will check that whether this is a subgraph or not then we can check that whether it is induced subgraph or not okay 